the crab in the bucket. So you're a philosopher? Yes. What if I told you that the crab that's actually getting out of the bucket is the one that's more out of order or wrong than the ones that are pulling the crab back down? What if I told you that? I know we have a tendency to say you have a crab in the bucket mentality. Meaning that every time a brother trying to get out of a certain position, you got others that's trying to pull him back. Right? And we term that or look at that as a negative thing. But something dawned on me today, <clears throat> and it's a perspective that I had never uh, shared or possessed. And so maybe y'all have never looked at it from this perspective. So let's look at it. The natural inclination of the human being is to survive. Rule number one, self-preservation, right? If the natural nature of the human being is to survive in every aspect of the human being, biological makeup confirms this. From the cell, the smallest cell is designed by nature to survive, which in turn, every cell in your body is trying to survive. And everything in your body has a cell. Therefore, which in itself triggers into us that same natural animalistic nature. Rule number one, self-preservation. Survive. Right? Survive, survive, survive. And then you have what we call the um, flight or fight. I think it's a, a method or mode, but it's a natural human and animalistic inclination. Either you're going to fight or flight, but we're talking about survival. So what I want you to understand is that if my makeup is designed to survive, if your makeup is designed to, to survive, if our makeup is designed to survive, this is, I'm talking about on the animalistic level, I'm saying just our natural physical we say oh, i'm saying physical your flesh if that part of you is naturally your 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 this is what we possess because us we really exist inside of this physical thing but that's a whole another subject and conversation so i'm just trying to help you understand that inside of this flesh we're designed to survive the flesh itself is designed to keep itself alive for that which possesses us, right? So, if we have a natural inclination to survive, then it's only natural that we're all trying to get out of the bucket. We're all trying to get out of the bucket. We're all trying to get out of the bucket. And so when I was thinking about this game that Derrick Grace has called the in-home banking game, he said the game isn't set up where there's competition on the table. And it's a game where two to eight people are playing. And he say that if you try to play it where one or two people win, then you're not getting the game. You're not getting basically the, the, the reason or the, 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 the method or whatever that he's trying to teach with the game. That the game is designed for every player to beat the system which is incorporated in the game. I was talking to my sister today about this whole this system. The system we live in, the system itself is not designed to be beaten. I said that maybe he used the wrong terminology. You can't beat the system per se because the system is, is somewhat made of, of, of a finance or whatever, right? And so we can't never exhaust it financially. Not one, two, three, or however many people. We can't exhaust it fi financially and beat it. However, we can work together to a point to where it doesn't somewhat say beat us. We're able to survive in a way that we can live in our creative self if we play as a group. If we play as a group, if we play it in oneness, if we play as a whole in oneness, unity, right? He said to beat the to the whole design of the game is to play together, all together, to the point to where we all collectively beat the system, oneness, right? So now, 
We all have a natural inclination to survive. We all trying to get out of the bucket. We all trying to beat the system. But we can't do it by ourselves. In the way the system is designed, capitalism. Capitalism itself is what created competition. What is the competition? The competition is basically one person is doing better than another. That by itself creates certain opportunities and certain privileges and uh, certain attractions and certain fame and certain uh, 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 um, levels of acceptance, I'd say, because the human being has also a natural inclination to be accepted. We are social creatures by nature. We, have, we need each other. So, you're a philosopher. so, with all of that being said, when you think about capitalism and the division that it creates, the competition that it creates, it makes us compare. It makes us use someone else to measure what we have and give it a value. But imagine if we all work together to beat the system, to get out of the bucket. Imagine if we all work together to get out of the bucket instead of one or two or three getting out the bucket by themselves. Then there wouldn't have you wouldn't have others who are also just trying to get out, not necessarily trying to pull the other one in, but because it's trying to get out, the nature of trying to get out and survive and persevere pulls another back in sometimes. Just, what if I told you that the one that is trying to get out the bucket is the one that's out of order?